This is the Global Medical News Network, and I'm Bob Finn, reporting from the World Conference on Lung Cancer in San Francisco. Taken daily for six months, a drug called Iloprost may be able to reverse precancerous lesions in the lungs of former smokers. What you'll see from this, from these results is that people improved in average histology, subjects improved in maximum histology, as well as in dysplasia index. On the left is a biopsy from a subject's right upper bronchus showing severe dysplasia. After six months of iloprost, an adjacent biopsy shows only normal tissue. I've been in several talks at this meeting where there's been other markers that have improved, but we're showing histologically that these areas of damage get better if you're put on this, on this drug. Unfortunately, iloprost didn't help everybody. Like many other previous prevention studies, if you continue to smoke, there was no treatment effect that was seen. Um, and this is a very promising agent for lung cancer prevention trials and I think is a great candidate to move forward to a larger phase three trial uh, in another set of high-risk subjects to say, you know, is this a, a medication that, that we can use to prevent cancer? Side effects were minimal. Compared to patients taking placebo, those taking Iloprost did appear to have more headache, flushing, nausea, and myalgia. The drug is already approved in the United States as a treatment for pulmonary hypertension. Dr. Keith said he has no relationship with the manufacturer, but he did disclose that he has applied for a patent for the use of Iloprost or other prostaglandin analogs for lung cancer chemoprevention. For the Global Medical News Network, I'm Bob Finn.